Squid up? No! Squid neutral! Alright. Art college. Beginning of senior year inside my favorite class to fall asleep in. Creative writing. I had one of those super duper... Whooper. Chill teachers, you know, just just an overall very nice dude. And there were probably only about like eight people in the whole classroom. And I would be there, passed out, right in front of his face. That's how whooper he is. Anyways, the desks in the classroom were formed in an oval shape, with only one desk forming the top and the bottom. Each desk contains two seats. The left side was his girl's, and the right side was mine. We sat at the bottom of the oval, so that means no one else was sitting next to us. Brown haired, blue eyes, this girl was doing what most art kids do in classes that aren't about drawing. They draw. What do I do? I draw too. But only if I'm not passed out, which I probably am. Now, we know each other, but don't really know each other. It's one of those situations where you've only talked once through the power of mutuals. I was never very aware of this individual person, but that will soon change because she does, uh, something very suave. She raises her hand and she's all like, Sir, may I use the bathroom? Yes, you may, says the super duper. Whooper. Chill teacher. She then scoots out of her desk and walks off. During this time, for some reason, on this very ultra-rare blood moon occurrence, I'm actually awake. And I see, in the corner of my eye, her sketchbook, wide open, even tilted a little bit towards my direction. It was a drawing of somebody, but that somebody looked awfully familiar, so I had to do a double take. And what do you know? It was me. I could confirm it because I was wearing a unique striped hoodie. The same hoodie in the sketchbook. Usually, I don't really have an image to uphold. So I'm never really afraid of just looking like a dead blob in class, okay? I guarantee everyone in my major knows what my sleeping face looks like since I've slept in 90% of my classes, and it's not the most attractive thing to be held. But, to my surprise, it looks like maybe some girls do get attracted to dumb sleeping blobs in classes. What a world we live in, huh? That girl must need glasses. Hey! No interruptions! Okay, where was I? <clears throat> so... There were three different feelings that I felt during this discovery. One was, I was super flattered. The sketch was actually very well drawn, and I was very impressed with her skills. And, she made me look very handsome. I'd probably go on a date with it. Two was, is this a confession? Normally, when artists leave their desk, they do their very best to hide their doodles while they're away to prevent anyone from seeing them and judging their psyche via either closing their sketchbook or putting another piece of paper on top of it. Secret techniques. Artists are usually very self-conscious of their artwork. Trust me. I know. This was a power move. I could feel it. Perhaps going to the bathroom was just a strategy that forces my position into the lead role. Or maybe not, I don't know, I can only assume. My final thought was, wow, so when I'm looking away, you're staring at me. That makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable, but at the same time I can't blame you, because I do the same thing to my crushes, but then usually I get caught and then I want to die. Time passes, and she returns to her seat. Now this is the part where I get really stupid, because I started overanalyzing the whole situation. Is this really a confession? 
The sketchbook tilted like that literally screams she did this on purpose. And this is the final class of creative writing. It all adds up. But shouldn't I give the benefit of the doubt that maybe she was just practicing and had no intent in showing me and it was all just an accident? Wait! You can have an intent in showing someone a drawing without adding romantic feelings in the mix? But why did she draw me so dreamy? That clearly looks like she sees me in a different light. Wait! But that's how unique art styles work, Ditus, you idiot! Those drawings look straight out of a shoujo manga! But no artist would ever show an anime drawing to another person without getting embarrassed. This is art school. Unless the other person who's viewing it is also into anime, right? Wait! How does she even know I like anime in the first place? I've always been so low-key about it. Do I really look that much like a weeb? I don't even know if I like her or not. What if I reply and I end up leading her on? What if she likes me and I friendzone her? Wouldn't that cause her suffering? What if I reply, which acknowledges that I saw it, and she actually didn't want it to be seen? Wouldn't that make her feel embarrassed? I wouldn't want her to feel uncomfortable. So maybe, maybe the best course of action is to... Yep, that's right. I stayed completely silent for the rest of the class. I pretended that I never saw a thing. However, I did notice that throughout the rest of the remaining class time, her body language did seem like she was a little anxious, but that could have very well been my imagination for ego boosting. We will never know what her real intentions were. Ever. Because I never saw her again. I hate myself. Because all I had to do was say, Nice drawing. That's it. That's all I had to do. And I didn't do it. Because I was too busy overanalyzing the whole situation. For no reason. Nice drawing. That, that would have solved everything. Maybe she just wanted a friend. Well, too late now. Do not follow in my footsteps. This is why I'm Barnacle Scum. Thinking? You might explode. Uh -huh. You could say he was only drawing me for practice. I draw people all the time when they are working. Uh -huh. Because it feels like a forbidden taboo. Like a secret thrill. Doing something you're unaware of. Just like those situations where someone's humiliating themselves in public and then you pull out your phone and start secretly recording them? Very similar to that. Uh huh. He's like a West Extreme version of an underwear thief. Mmm, plenties. Whatever this art girl did, I encourage people to try more daring moves like her. It'll make a wife a lot more interesting. Uh huh. You can never know. Uh huh. Maybe if you try a creative move like this, you could end up hitting with one of your crushes. Nyaha! <laughs> Jokes don't confess to barnacles like me. Ooh, I probably let you down. Don't let me down by not subscribing to me. Uh, what's this in my hair? You better press the subscribe button quickly now. Okay, 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 okay. 
listen, listen. Whoever, whoever's still here somehow, I, I don't know why, but anyways, I got to 9.45 somehow, and, you know, I'll, it's only 15 seconds left until 10 minutes. It, you know, I, being a YouTuber, I was just like, oh, dude, it hurts. Like, I worked so hard on this video. I was just like, I have this existential, 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 I don't know how to say the word, a crisis, okay? Oh, wait, look at that. I already, I already made it 10 minutes. Okay, goodbye.